Hey guys, it's Jessica, the other half of Jessica and Cody here with another reaction. This is to Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 6. Um, I've really been enjoying this season so far. I'm just super happy to finally be almost caught up. Um, sorry, I didn't have anything up for Friday. I was just taking a little bit of a break. My internet was being really slow, and I wasn't able to get an episode out like I wanted to, um, but I'm still on track, and I will still finish um, before the episode, or episode seven, before the season seven premiere. Um, so yeah, I didn't lose much time. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction and I will see you on the other side. What the hell? That, that, that's creepy. bunch of heads? Ugh. Is that what they're doing with all the dead bodies? They're taking their heads? Oh, pfft, no. Uh, that's a big old nope for me. Mm -mm. Is the girl ready to give up her ears, her nose, her tongue? Her hopes and dreams, her loves and hates, all that makes a girl who she is. Forever. Don't touch it. No. A girl is not ready to become no one. But she's ready to become someone else. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Please explain more. Oh, okay. I, I guess not. What about the dwarf? Worthless. Cut his throat. Wait, wait, Damn. wait, wait, wait. Let's discuss this. And then chop off his cock. We'll sell it okay. for a fortune. The dwarf's cock has magic powers. Wait, 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 wait. You, you can't just... Hand a dried cock to a merchant and expect him to pay for it. He has to know it came from a dwarf. And how could he know? Unless he sees the dwarf. It will be a dwarf-sized cock. Guess again. <laughs> Do you want him to show you? I mean, he might. The dwarf lives until we find a cock merchant. Oh my god, a cock merchant. Danis Baratheon was also a traitor. Marching with his army on Winterfell. That's Danis and Roos battle. Let the enemies of the throne slaughter each other, and when they're done, seize Winterfell from whichever thief survives. Winterfell is a thousand miles away from here. The weather has already begun to turn. That is why it is critical to strike soon, while the victor still licks his wounds. And if you succeed? Name me Warden of the North. No. Ugh. Don't Could give him the a North. Have him issue a royal decree. Mm -mm. I'll not rest until the lion flies over Winterfell. And I'll know you're a man of your word. You just want to be here. Stark's, Stark's head to spike. As I said, I live to serve. We have to go, Marcella. Now. You hurt him! He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to. Oh, damn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are, are those, um. Mr. Prince's daughters? Uh, oh, is, is the prince dead? Is he just out? Oh, someone boo. You're coming with me. I don't want you. Oh, I wasn't damn. asking, princess. Uh-oh. Have your uncle grab person Drop save your you. weapons. Oh. Somebody's in trouble. I am Obara San. <laughs> they fight pretty good for a little girl. <laughs> really quickly, I'm kind of surprised.
Mm. I didn't trust your father. I didn't particularly like him, but I respected I him. He was no oh. fool. He understood that sometimes we must work with our rivals rather than destroy them. House Lannister has no rival. The High Septon has called for an inquest, not a trial. Just a small hearing to determine whether the charges against Loras have merit, which I'm sure they don't. Loras will be freed. Mm. Our happy alliance will continue. And we'll forget this unfortunate conversation ever happened. <coughs> Good day, Lady Olenna. How do you respond to these charges against your brother? They are lies. All of them? All of them. Queen Marjorie, in the presence of the gods, do you swear that your brother is innocent of these charges against him, to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I swear it. Thank you, Your Grace. Is there anyone else who can support your claim? Yes. Yes, Queen Marjorie. Oh, fuck She her. walked in on us once, not long ago. She didn't seem surprised. This test is an face. insult to a great house. Why should the Faith or anyone else take the word of a squire over the air to Highgarden? He has a birthmark, Your Grace. Quite high on his thigh. Wine colored and roughly the shape of Doyle. What are you doing? Let us pass. The faith is satisfied there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial. Oh, God. For Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. What? Oh, God. Bearing false witness before the gods is as grave a sin as any, my lady. Oh, Jesus. Take her. Oh, damn. Tommen! Yeah, Tommen, help your wife. You can't Come on, this. dude. I am the queen. Tommen! Tommen! I am your queen, how dare you? Take your hands off. Ah! Ah! Tommen! Lord Ramsay sent me to draw your bath, my lady. Oh, you want to be nope. clean and fresh for your new husband, don't you? What was your name again? Miranda. Miranda. How long have you loved him, Miranda? I don't like her. Did you imagine that he would be with you forever? Is that it? And I came along and ruined it. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home, and you can't frighten me. Oh. What? What? What are you gonna do? Are what? you done with your bath? My lady. Girl, I can finish on my own. Yeah, you better run. Oh, Santa. Stop crying, man. My father said you're still a virgin. Oh. Yes. Why? Why are you still a virgin? Afraid of dwarves? <laughs> yeah. Lord, Lord Tyrion was kind. He was gentle. He never touched me. Take off your clothes. C can I leave? Oh, oh no, no. God. You stay here, Rick. Oh, God. You watch. Oh. Oh. Ew. Ramsey, why are you doing this? Going to ask a second time. I hate asking a second time. Reek, I told you to watch. Hate him. Hate him. Hate him. Hate him a lot. Hate him a lot. You've mm -mm. known Sansa since she was a girl. Mm -mm. 
Now watch her become a woman. Can I punch him? I want to I wanna, I wanna punch him. Just stab him. Do something awful to him. Oh, God. Oh, Sansa. You don't deserve this shit. You don't deserve this shit. Somebody kill him. Come on, Theon. Stab him in the back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Theon. Break out of it. Come on. Stab him. Do something. Don't just fire watch. Come on, man. Do that second song. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Oh. Um, so that was Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 6. I have lots of feelings, and none of them are good. I want to punch Ramsey in the freaking face. Punch him. God, he's a jerk, and I hate him. Um, so we see Arya is still with Jacken. Uh, she's still washing bodies, and she doesn't know why. Um, the girl who I was told is called the the Wraith Wraith Wraith. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, her tells her a story. Um, and then at the end of it, she's like, "Did you believe the story? Every single word?" And then Arya was kind of like, mm, "Yeah." And then just like go back to work. And I'm like, oh, "Oh, okay." Um, and then Jacken comes in and has her tell him who who she is. And when she lies, he like hits her with a a a, a, a whip or something. He hits her with something for for lying. Um, and then he's like, "She's not ready." Uh, and then she sees this little girl, um, whose dad comes in and wants her to drink the water because I guess when you drink the water, you die. Uh, and she tells her about her dad and how if she doesn't want to suffer anymore to drink the water. And then she gets to go into the room where the bodies are taken and she sees all these like, columns with like, I don't know if they're heads or if it's like the the skin off of somebody's face. I don't know which one is creepier, to be honest. Ugh. Ugh. Um, and Jacken comes in, and he's like, you are not ready to be no one, but maybe you're ready to be somebody else. And I'm like, you want her to become one of those creepy head thingies? Ew. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. We see um, Jorah and Tyrion, they have not found any of the villages that Jorah said he, they would find. They end up getting caught by slavers. At first, they want to kill Tyrion and then sell his you-know-what because apparently it has magical properties. Uh, but then Tyrion convinces them not to kill him because uh, they have to have proof that you-know-what comes from a dwarf. And then he says, we're going to go find a cock merchant. And I'm like... What? Is that a thing? That, what? Okay, I have questions. Um, how did this person get into this industry? And who is buying his wares? What? So many questions, none of them will be answered. Um, and then he makes up a story about how Jorah's like this great warrior from the fighting pits and if they return him, they get a lot of money, which is super smart, actually. So, hopefully, they're going to get to Marine. I don't know. Um, they, it, I think they will. Eventually. I thought they were in Marine in the first place, but I guess they're not. I don't know where they were. I don't know. Okay, they're, they're somewhere, and hopefully, they're going to get to Marine at some point. No idea where Varys is. He's probably still back in town wondering where the hell is Tyrion. I don't know. Um... We see uh, Marjorie and her grandmother are talking about um, her brother being put in prison. Um, Elena goes to talk to Cersei and they have this like super catty cat fight but not really because they're like using their words and not their like fists. And basically Cersei's like I didn't arrest him. The High Sparrow is gonna have a hearing and they're gonna be freed. And then they go in there and Loras denies it. Marjorie denies it. And then they have somebody come in. It's the frickin' frickin' squire douche who, like, proves, oh yeah, I slept with him. And then Loris gets taken, and then Marjorie gets taken, 
and Cersei has this big old smirk on her face, and I'm like, okay, did you fucking plan this from the beginning? I don't think you did, but also, what the hell, man? What the hell? I don't like it. At all. I don't want either of them captured! What the heck, man? Oh. And Olena is just super pure. I'd be too. Frankly, I would really be mad too. Oh, no way. You do not do this to my grandchildren. That's what I think she was feeling. We see um, Marcella is with the, the prince. I actually have no idea what his name is. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's the prince of Dorne. Um, they're talking about how they're going to get married and... They're being super cute, um, and then Jamie comes to rescue her. I'm pretty sure he, like, knocks the prince out. Um, Marcella freaks out, and then I'm assuming the three girls are Oberon's paramour's daughters. Uh, they appear and start to attack them. They try to take Marcella, and then this other guy appears. I don't know who he is. Uh, the guard? The high guard? I don't know. He, he's somebody. He appears and he stops the fight. Um, and then they get taken. They give up really easily, which kind of, I feel like they gave up too easily. Um, maybe they gave up for a reason. I don't know. And then they see, and then we see their mother get captured and I'm like, okay, they're all giving up really, really easily. This seems like a trap. I don't trust it. Um, and that's the last we see of that. Um, no idea what's going to happen. Maybe we're going to see the payoff in the next episode. I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> we see um, Sansa is at Winterfell. Uh, and I forgot her name. Uh, the, the, the lady, the, the kennel's daughter or the kennel master's daughter that loves Ramsay, she came in to give Sansa a bath, and it's like, ha-ha, the black hair is gone, and the red hair is black. That was, like, literally the, the least important part of the scene, but I thought it was really funny. Um, and then she talks about Ramsay's other... I don't want to call them girlfriends, because they weren't girlfriends, but other the conquests and what happened to them and what he did when he got bored. And then she was like... How long have you loved him? I'm Sansa Stark. This is my home. You can't scare me. You better leave. <laughs> I was almost expecting her to do like a Z-snap, but I was like, a Z-snap was not invented back then, so no, she she wouldn't do that. But she left real quick. She was like, nope, and then she left. She was gone. Um, And then we see Sansa getting married to Ramsay, and he just has this creepy look on his face, and I don't like it. Ugh. And then we see, um, they're talking, and he's like, oh, my dad says you're still a virgin, uh, are you lying to me? She's like, no, I'm not lying. And then he asks Rick to stay, and he, I I'm gonna say it, I'm, like, pretty damn sure he rapes her. Because, uh, she does not look willing, she does not look just having a good time, she didn't say yes, she didn't say no, but she was clearly not having it. He fucking raped Sansa. What? I want to punch him. I want to stab him. He is a freaking... Mm, I hate him. I hate him so much. And then he made Theon watch. Theon's just sitting there. He's like, he's crying. I'm like, do something. Get him off her. Throw a candlestick. This is not Clue, but do something. Come on, man. Oh, damn. This is not where I thought this episode was going to end, and I didn't like it, and it ended on a downer. I'm very upset. I didn't want it to end this way, but overall, it was a really good episode. Besides the Ramsey said that maybe we want to kill him. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. I have all my social media, including my Patreon page. You can be an early access viewer and see things early. Um, and as always, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys here soon with a new video.